how to do fulfillment for your Etsy store in 2022. I made a video about this a while ago, but I'm gonna make an updated version since Etsy has updated since I've made that video. Basically step-by-step -step how to do fulfillment for your Etsy store in 2022, or at least how I do my fulfillment. All right guys, let's get into it. Welcome back guys. If you're new to the channel, I talk about building brands on Etsy and Shopify, but a lot of other entrepreneurship stuff as well. So if that is what you're into, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Inside of your Etsy dashboard here, as you can see in my orders and shipping tab, I have orders. But before we go to that, let's just talk about setting up shipping because it's really important that you have shipping set up and create some shipping profiles. So if I come into my settings here, you're gonna see a shipping settings tab. And it's important that you're coming in here and creating shipping profiles and syncing them to your products before you do this, before you do any fulfillment. So you're basically telling Etsy in bulk, you know, what products get what type of shipping. So I offer USPS shipping for all of my products. I sell smaller to medium sized parcel items, but I think that FedEx might offer better rates when it comes to bigger items. If I'm not mistaken, check me on that. I don't know, I don't use FedEx. Essentially to create a profile, I would come in here and create profile. My shipping price is gonna be calculated for me, recommended. If you wanna offer like a flat rate shipping because you don't wanna completely offer free shipping or something and you wanna cover part of the shipping, or maybe you just wanna collect a flat rate, you can change this here to enter fixed price manually. You put in your zip code of origin, your processing time, where you're willing to ship, and then the shipping services that you want to offer. If you offer free shipping, so say you offer free shipping on all of your products, it's going to, based off the shipping services that you have, it's going to offer free shipping for the cheap, cheapest option that you select. One thing that I just wanna say with shipping, a lot of times Etsy sellers are saying, you know, offer free shipping, Etsy's going to reward you for offering free shipping, and it is true, but the one exception to this I will say is if you're in a niche where your competitors is very, their value proposition is price point, meaning you're gonna get beat out because it's a very price competitive niche, then I would say that it actually is probably better for you to not offer free shipping and be able to at least have that front end number show a lower price than your competition. That's one exception to this, or it's just something for you to test out for your own use case to see which types of listing converts better because you can duplicate your listings and test free shipping versus non-free shipping and see which one does better. Obviously, you might get a percentage of people asking you why is this listing cheaper than this? And then you just say, it's because it's actually the same price. One just offers free shipping. In the end, it's the same end price and one doesn't. See what works better for you. Other niches, like sometimes they don't care about the price because that's just who the customer is. And so you just need to make that decision for yourself. If you charge a, a handling fee and then you're gonna give your profile a name, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to add that shipping profile to your listings. So if I come in here, I can select like three products, editing options, and I can change the shipping profile and select that shipping profile. We offer free shipping, but we don't offer free international shipping. So we do have that free shipping set up, but not for international items because that would just be way too expensive. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually purchase the labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my orders and shipping tab. And essentially what I want to do, um, I can come in here and hit select all, but the issue with that is it's only going to select the orders for that day. So I actually want to select all of the orders on the entire page. So I'm going to hit this button up here. So I'm going to select 14 orders and it will only let you purchase 20 at a time. So if you have more than 20 at a time, then you have to go back and print the next page. And then the next thing I'm going to do is hit get shipping labels. Now what's going to pop up here is all of the orders and their the shipping service that they're getting. And the reason why it's auto populating this is because when you set up your shipping profile, you attached it to the listing already. So every order should technically know what packaging service it's going to get. But a couple of notes here and things that I'm looking for. So the first thing, I don't just go and review and purchase right away. I actually go through these manually and check to make sure that they're actually giving it the right price. And so a first thing that I'm gonna do is check that it's actually getting the right price. So that's the first thing. So 
basically all of these orders you know it's under it's under one pound which means it can be first class mail but the second that this actually goes over a pound so if it's over one pound first class mail is not an option anymore so the second that it is at one pound or less you can actually do first class mail so that's really important to know first class mail and priority mail are two different mails because one's more expensive obviously but then one is faster so this is saying two to six day and this is saying one to four day shipping so just know that if your package is over one pound you actually don't even have the option to do the first class mail so this one was only eight ounces so i'm going to put eight ounces back in there so that is correct if i hit first class mail same thing with this guy that's good we're good on this now when you have a case like this essentially what's happening here of why there's two labels is because they ordered so many items that it actually needs two different mailers but let's just say that i could put it in a box instead i could you know put technically put this all in one and i wouldn't need two labels i can come up here and delete one of the labels and then just throw everything in this label in this one box so this is really easy to do you can just come in here and delete it and you can come in here and make customizations to the package and the service carrier that you want so for this one i actually am going to need two labels but i'm going to lower this cost because it's not going to be three pounds and you'll see that the price changes for that label now this one for whatever reason is doing the same thing where it's trying to make me buy two labels even though i can fit two of these small items in one package so i'm going to go ahead and actually delete that so now it's showing under this person that i'm just purchasing one label instead of two for that order we're going to keep coming down here and checking to make sure that these are all correct so for this one where it's saying that it's 20 dollars for priority mail and they ordered a quantity of two for me specifically i know that i'm going to need two mailers but for whatever reason it didn't print two labels so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lower the weight on this and i'm going to actually go back and under her and buy a second label after i print all of those orders so i'm just going to remember that name and i'm going to come back and buy two labels because i know that i'm going to need two mailers for this item now, obviously this is different for every, every store and every use case. So, you know, this is just what our process for our items. So I see another one here where it's saying it's $20 and there's no way that these three items are for three pounds. And the reason why it's calculating incorrectly is because we sell bundled items. And essentially what that means is when you go into a product listing, I have a drop down menu that allows you to buy a product by itself, or I have you give you the option to buy a product in a bundle. And so unfortunately, there's no way to set up a shipping profile for variation options in a listing so if someone buys just one item instead of the entire bundle it's trying to charge me for the shipping for the whole bundle which is more expensive so that's why you're seeing 2077 for three items here when really i know that it's not actually three pounds so it's probably only for these small items it's probably all three together is probably only one pound so we can actually lower that here and now it's going to give me the option because it's under one pound to do USPS first class mail. And even though it says upgrade requested, that's just because when the customer checked out, it was showing that that's the shipping that they're gonna get, even though that's incorrect. This is something that Etsy needs a fix, but I usually don't get any complaints because we ship so quickly anyway. Also here, you see that there's a gift message included, which is something that you're gonna want to print out here. And I'll show you in a second how to do that. Let's keep scrolling down and see if we see anything else that looks a little bit out of the ordinary. A few other things that I would say that would prevent you from buying the labels is if for whatever reason, if you can see here, it says should arrive on time and USPS verified address. Sometimes people put incorrect addresses in and it will say it's a non-verified address in which case you can come into the actual label itself like that and hit edit and you can edit the address or if a customer needed to change the address last minute that's how you would do it
The other thing with international orders, which I don't have any international orders right now, what I like to do when it is an international, it will tell you, it will say standard international mail. And essentially what will show up here is the price of the total purchase price. It will show you the weight. It will show you all similar things, except some more information for international shipping and say the purchase order price was hundred dollars. I would come in here and change it to $10 because sometimes when people buy things international, they, they have to pay a, a tax, a sit like a import tax. And when you devalue the package of the item, the package and the items that are inside of it, it sometimes allows it to go through customs a lot faster and they're not upset at you that they have to pay all this custom fees or whatever. So that helps that situation when you lower the price or lower the price that they paid and it helps them get it into that country faster. So the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit review and then we're going to hit purchase. And now you see that we're purchasing 15 labels. Now I'm gonna hit print shipping labels here and then a PDF is gonna show up here and I'm gonna go ahead and print all of these labels out. And the next thing that I also wanna do is I wanna come in here and then create the USPS scan form. Now what a scan form does for you is it puts all of your shipping labels into one sheet. So when I go to the post office, instead of having to scan every single item, all the post office has to do is just scan this one sheet. And this is really helpful because sometimes if you just drop your packages off, if for whatever reason, if they don't scan the item right then and there, sometimes your item tracking will stay in pre-transit for like four days, sometimes even until it gets to the customer and then your customer thinks that you never shipped it even though you did so when you do the scan form and have make the post office scan this form it just protects you because then it takes your tracking out of pre-transit and it puts it into you know that it shows that the post office has it in their position and out of pre-transit so that's what i like to do the other thing that we need to go ahead and do we needed to go and buy that second label for the customer that we know is going to need two packages is this one right here so we're going to come in here you can see that we have one label but we want to go ahead and purchase a second one so how i would do that is come here and i would click on the order and then i would hit get shipping labels and then I would go ahead and fix that weight here so it's not charging me $20. And I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that second label since they ordered a quantity of two. So now I have all of my labels here in my scan form and I'm gonna go ahead and print these out. And the printer that I'm using is a Brother printer. It's a laser printer that connects to your Wi-Fi and you can print from your phone, your computer, whatever the case is. And it's really cheap with ink because it's a laser printer. So, you know, ink is normally pretty, pretty expensive, but with laser ink, it's a lot cheaper and it lasts a lot longer. So that's what I personally use. The other thing that we just need to make sure that we're doing when we're actually doing fulfillment is if you saw that they got a gift message. So I believe on this order down here, we have a gift message included. When I go to fulfill this order as well, what I'm gonna wanna do is come here and set, hit print gift message as well. Message, so I'm gonna print that and I'm gonna go ahead and print that out as well. And I'm basically printing it on the this label paper here and it has two full half sheet where it prints a full half sheet of the label. And then I'm just taking that sticker off and sticking it on the package. I think that pretty much concludes this video. All the links and resources to, you know, anything I talked about in this video will be below in my description. I hope you guys got some value out of this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.